So it's me, your little boy, Iki Samson. I have something special for us choosing ones today. You know, many of us need to understand that nothing happened what by mistake. And there is something that I always tell my friends. I say, God we serve is not a God of what mistake. God knows the reason why he do what he do what he knows in doing. Our God is not a God of mistake. <laughs> you know, some people will say, I failed. I lost my business. I lost this. The truth is this. God knows why. And sometimes, majority of all these things are caused by us. Because ma many of us see the signs, but we don't hack into it. We don't do it. We don't hold it. We just do it. Play with it. So what am I trying to say is this. If people truly want to stay in your life, let them stay. This is all I'm about to say. If people want to leave, let them leave. Because whoever that leave, that means they are not made for you. <laughs> and if people want to make you feel like you can't succeed, you can't make it without them, let them know that God who called you is still capable to do or to do things with you. Because God is not yet finished with you. So whoever that want to stay in your life, let them stay. And whoever that still want to leave, let them leave. Don't bother yourself over who want to stay or who want to leave. Don't grow or don't stress yourself over who don't like you or who hate you. Because whoever that truly really love you, we know your value. We value your what? We value you. We give you what value. Whoever that love you, whoever that genuinely love you, will not do what tried to do or to punish you by leaving you when you need them the most. Whoever that truly care about you will always know what to do and what not to do. What I mean is this. Those who truly love you will not make you feel like without them you wouldn't do it. Without them, you will succeed because they believe that every human on earth have his own word, weaking point. So those who truly really love you will not go to the level of touching your weaking point. So if people want to leave, let them leave because that means they are not made for you. And sometimes when God wants to bless a man, he first of all watch people surrounding you. He first of all check if there is any word garbages obstacles, liability within. Because God don't want to waste his resources on what on something that is not going to be beneficial. Sometimes the reason why our blessings are hanging and the reason why many blessings are not what activated is because we are hanging around with what with failures. And God don't want to do with ugly. God don't have anything to do with ugly people. So God will not allow them to stay in your life too long. God will not allow them to be with you for too long. Because what God has for you is something that he don't want people up there to destroy. Because he said the thought I have for you, thought of peace, not for evil. So the thought of God is not for him to bless you. Tomorrow you will start to regret it. The thought of God is not for him to bless you. Tomorrow you will not have it again. That is why God will remove them before he, uh, he do it. He, he amazingly, abundantly open your door. So if people truly want to stay, let them stay. And if people truly want to leave, let them leave. Because that means they are not made for you. That is what you need to understand. Because God who called you, will not allow anything to destroy you. You got what I'm saying? So that is why you need not to bother or be scared who is saying or what they are saying or people around you want to leave you or they don't want to stay with you because God knows when to bless you. Hey God. He knows when to catapult you. He knows how to bless you. So God knows mist in which he blessed us. He don't care whether, whether people around you reject you. That is why if people want to leave, let them leave. Because God don't take permission from them before he blessed you. 
He knows when to bless you. He knows when to favor you. He knows when to cast out the word that is thrown away. So don't bother yourself. Sometimes we cry over garbages without knowing that there are liabilities. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes many of us will just be crying. Eh, I don't want them to leave. Lord, Lord, I want them to stay. I want them to stay. Lord, I want them to stay. <laughs> God will shock you and remove them. The next thing you hear, God will do what blessed you. That is why you don't need to bother. If people want to leave, let them leave. If people want to care, let them care. If people want to support you, let them support you. Because the highest support comes from the Lord. <laughs> oh God. This was how, uh, 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 listen. The biggest support comes from God, not from men. The biggest support on earth comes from God. So if people don't want to support you, that is their own word business. If people up there don't want to care for you, that is their own business. If people up there don't want to assist you, that is their own business. So let who want to support you support you. Because when God is about to bless you, He don't need their what their support. He can do it alone. You know this. You know sometimes. People who hate you are those who God will always use to bless you before they realize what they are doing. <laughs> that, is why, that is why sometimes I will just be like, what kind of God are we serving? What kind of Omega are we what? Are we dependent? What kind of author do we have? What kind of final answer do we have? That it will cause people who hate you to bless you before they realize what they are doing. Sometimes many of them will bless you, help you to that point. They will say, ah. What am I doing? Am I am I in the dream? Am I sure that I'm the one doing this for this guy? <laughs> am I sure? They said eh, we we have we have we have we have done it. We have done it <laughs> because when God truly really want to let them know that He is still God, He will first of all cause them to bless you before their their eyes become open. Because God who is with you is most is most. Listen, that is why many of us don't know what God is really capable of doing. Many of us don't know what God is what is absolutely, you know, capable of doing. Our God is a God who can cause the ground to bless you. Our God is a God who can turn your life through the grass, ordinary dry grass. Our God is a God who can turn your case within an article of hour. Even when you are dying, he can still restore you. That is why you don't need to bother or be scared. Of whatsoever because God who is with you is much more bigger than those who are against you remember blessed